Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Frakan, a product designer working in London, and in this video, I'm gonna walk through my online design portfolio that helped me land interviews at big tech companies like Spotify, Snapchat, Facebook, WhatsApp, Shopify, and many more. I know creating an online design portfolio can be really hard, especially creating a case study, so I'm gonna walk through my online portfolio, so hopefully it'll give you inspiration when creating yours. I'm gonna include a free Figma template for my portfolio portfolio so be sure to go in the link in the description below to grab it and subscribe to my newsletter so if you're new here be sure to subscribe for future design related videos and let's get started so let's head straight into figma where i created all my case studies this is an open source file so be sure to go in the link in the description below and subscribe to my newsletter to grab this online portfolio template so on my website frakan.me the first thing where i start to create is some wireframes of when you go straight into my website i want to make it super easy for recruiters to be able to click on my case studies i want to put my favorite and best projects and my best work first so we've got the lace last mile delivery case study here straight away and we've got a bit of a title heading about who i am and what i do and we've got really simple cards that people can click on here and then we've got a simple footer that I designed and right at the top here one thing I made it really easy is for recruiters to find out how to get my CV or resume if they want to go in my LinkedIn they can grab that as well as contacting me and learning more about me so I wanted to make sure all of this was really easy to access because realistically recruiters only have a couple of minutes to look at your portfolio so you need to maximize that time so let's go into the case study template that I used before going onto my website. So we looked at basically having a nice um, big hero image on the actual project to give them an idea, a bit of a flavor of what, what it's about before you click on the case study here. So this is a hero shot of the app I worked on Ford Pass. And then here I talk about the overview of a project. So the main thing they're looking for is impact in big tech companies. So what impact have I made? You've probably heard me say this in other videos. Be sure to check those out where I talk about the importance of impact when making your CV, when talking about in interviews, what impact have you made? So make that really clear. What was the problem you're solving? What was the solution but the impact that you had? Make it clear what was your role on the project, what you did. And I'll talk about the user research insights and I have a basic flow and some wireframes here. Then I'll talk about some legal and technical design challenges because it's always good to hear about what were some of the other challenges that you had on the project. And then we talk about the final solution here. So that was case study one. And then this was my amazing case study, last mile delivery a project I was leading. So here I talk about the problem, the goal. On the website I added the impact here. I talk about again my role, what I did, a bit of a background about my project and a bit of personas um, and some flows and I'll make it clear what impact I had here. So this is a rough uh, outline of my case study inside Figma but let's head straight into my website to see what it looks like. So let's go to my online design portfolio. We've seen the Figma designs. This is a place where recruiters will be going, design managers to see my work before an interview or before they're getting me in for an interview. So let's see what I've actually included, which has helped me land some interviews at big tech companies. So as you can see, it looks really similar to the Figma designer. I do recommend you to have a Figma design in place before you go to coding your website or building it in Webflow or Squarespace. It makes it so much quicker. And also on the topic of coding or using Webflow or Squarespace, I highly recommend using Webflow or Squarespace because it saves you so much time. You're meant to be focusing on the content on the website, not faffing around coding it and making sure it all works. The only reason I coded it was because I had a lot of time during the pandemic on my hands to learn a bit of front end development and improve on my existing skills by learning React. That's the reason why I coded this. So you can see straight away, we've got the key links right at the top here. It's super easy for the recruiters to be like, oh, let me quickly grab the CV. Let me go to this person's LinkedIn. Oh wait, we've got a YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. And we've got newsletter about and contact. So it's really easy for them to scan and see the key links straight away. 
And we've got here a bit about me, a quick little punchline here, a headline, what I'm about. And then we've got the cards here. So we've got a bold title, hover on them. It makes it easy to know that you can click on them and it gives them an idea. We've got the number one case study right at the top. The recruiters only have a few minutes, so the chances are they'll be clicking the first case study. So make sure it's your best case study. You spend a lot of time on it. They can, if they want, they can have a little description before they click on it to see what this project is about. Chances are they'll probably click on it straight away here. So scrolling down, we've got our case studies and then you can see my newsletter here as well. It allows people to know that you can subscribe and see my other newsletter and learn about my thoughts there. So let's dive deeper into this case study. So like I said, the recruiters are going to be skimming and looking for key terms. They're going to be looking for key words here to make sure you've included the standard stuff in your case study. So this is why I've added these tags here right at the top. You might have a really long case study. What is a great way of breaking it down is putting tags right at the top of the case study for people to see what's inside and they can navigate really quickly, anchor around. And I highly recommend you doing this in your website. So impact, a massive thing recruiters look for for tech companies. What did you actually achieve and what was the actual results and how was he actually involved in this as well? Background of project research, prototypes, super important. Try to embed a Figma prototype and Envision prototype in your website. It gives recruiters, design managers an idea of your interaction design, your visual design level, and it gives them more confidence bringing, them in, bringing yourself into the interview. And then I've got a website of the real project here. So it's a real project. It's gone live so people can see that this is a public facing project. It's been successful here as well. So when we scroll down, really, really important to have a hero image of the actual product. Was it an iPhone app, an Android app, a tablet? Um, something for iPad? Was it something for a desktop? I include the screenshot straight away so people can get a rough idea of what it's about. And you can see an overview of the project so people can quickly understand what the project's about and what impact I actually made. So here they can see this was something about deliveries and it's about scaling the delivery network it looks like and you've increased delivery efficiency, reduced congestion. So, but just by scrolling in a couple of seconds, we've already picked up a few key things here. And then we've looked at about my role and what I did. So it's cool working on a big app, but what did you actually contribute? It's really key to for people to understand what you actually contributed to a project. And that's why I feel like this section here really helps people understand what you're all about. So include your role, what you did here, and then a bit of a background to the project. Again, this probably ain't too essential, but it's nice to have. And the reason I include this is because my project is public facing. So I've got a YouTube video that actually talks about the project here as well. So that's really useful for someone if they had a bit more time to actually see the project is live and there's some public promotion videos for it as well. And we've included an illustration for people to understand the project better. Again, we've got impact here. So we've got a clear infographic here that I've made showing the scale and up of last mile delivery makes it really easy, really visual and nice and clean to see scaling up. And we've got some personas here that aren't really essential, but it's something I had in my project already. And I'll talk about the research here. It's because I done something unique by actually going out and delivering parcels myself, spending uh, over a few weeks actually delivering parcels, learning how the actual delivery world works. So I thought it'd be really cool to include this as well. And then here we've got the embedded Figma prototype. If you click on the bottom here, I'll take you to an, the actual prototype link, or you can play around on the actual website. So this loads externally on Figma and it works pretty well so they could get a rough idea of your actual project if it is possible for you to include something like this they can just play around and see your work basically and it allows you to express yourself through your design work and these prototypes uh, they, they do a lot of talking they save a lot of time so I recommend including a live prototype over loads of screenshots of your app and the last bit is just usability testing and findings and your key challenges you face. So it's always important to talk about your learnings. It shows a bit of self-awareness as a designer. And 
I talked about the pandemic here and then focus more on impact again. Again, there's a lot of impact on this project as well. So the anchor tags, they do work really well, allows you to just quickly scroll through. You can click on the tag and it takes you there. And we've got the key sections here. And then at the bottom, we've got full pass and it follows the exact same format, your impact, again, final solution, the external website problem, what was the actual impact, your role, what I did. And it follows the exact same concept here. This time I didn't have a prototype for this project so I included more wireframes here and final screenshots. But that is my website in a nutshell. As you can see the case studies are short and snappy with a big focus on impact and making it it really clear where the recruiter can skim through and see what's involved in this project and I feel like that's helped me a lot to land in more interviews here. So the last thing I want to talk about is sharing some analytics of my website which has led me to some insights of when creating the portfolio case study. So first of all I do recommend to get your website to work for mobile and make it responsive. It does show that you've got that extra care and that extra attention to detail here. So you can see that I've used Bootstrap here so it's very easy for the website to be responsive and the case studies still load pretty well. And I've spent a lot of time actually trying to get this to work for mobile. More time than I maybe should have, but uh, using tools like Webflow is way easier and Squarespace to get things to work for mobile. So sharing some analytics here, we can see that there's been what, over 240 people accessing this website in the last 90 days. But how many of them actually access this on web uh, on mobile? We can see about 23% of people are accessing this on mobile. So that's still a fair few people. And um, it's important for your website to be responsive and work on mobile. And we can see here that people on average are spending about 65 seconds on my website. So they're probably clicking on one case study and skimming through. So hopefully that gives them a rough idea of the project and work I've worked on here. And some people are going on different web pages here, but we can see that the case studies and maybe people are going on the about page, a last small case study, but it does vary with the amount of time that people do spend. But you generally see do see a big spike of people spending, recruiters spending more minutes on your website. But here's some data to show that, yeah, they spend about one minute, five seconds on, on your website. So it really needs to be snappy and key. But it could be totally different on other websites, but this is just a rough idea of my analytics. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the fact that I coded my website, so I'm going to quickly show the code base. The code base is completely open source on GitHub, so go on the link in the description below to grab the code. And I use React here because I wanted to learn more about how to use components. And you can see here, these are basically React components using a big card here that I've made as a component which I've reused and recycled throughout. And the case studies here, there's just a lot of CSS when it comes to front end development. It's just a lot of CSS and I use Bootstrap to be honest to help structure the pages and it's nothing too fancy, nothing too complicated but as you can see here I've coded the website and you can grab the code as well and adapt it for your needs. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and I really appreciate you taking the time to go through and checking out my website and case study and hopefully it gives you a few tips and tricks of what to include in yours. So if you want, again, go in the link in the description below to grab the free Figma template to help you build your case studies and hopefully this will allow you to land more design jobs and I'm wishing you the best of luck. You just need to believe in yourself, spend that extra time building out your case studies and I'm sure you'll smash it. So be sure to subscribe for future design related videos. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below how you're getting on with your case studies and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.